While in Saratoga Springs, come visit horse racing's living legends at Old Friends at Cabin Creek Thoroughbred Retirement Farm. See Traverse winner Will's Way, our lovable loser Zippy Chippy, Whitney winner Commentator, and our newest retiree Cosmonaut, along with 12 other amazing equine athletes. Our mission is to provide a dignified retirement for thoroughbred racehorses and to raise awareness of their needs. Our volunteers are happy to take you on a tour, where you'll hear horse stories, maybe give a horse a carrot, or a kiss on the nose. Established in 2009 with 40 acres, owners Joanne and Mark Pepper welcome visitors every Saturday all year long from noon to 3 p.m. and Tuesdays through Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. during racing season. Donations are gratefully accepted. So come out and feel the love. We're easy to find. Just follow directions on our website, oldfriendsatcabincreek.com. My name is Joanne Pepper, J-O capital A-N-N, P-E-P-P-E-R, and you are at Old Friends at Cabin Creek in Greenfield Center, New York. Today, because the Thoroughbred Retirement Foundation is bringing over two of their adoptable horses, so we're hoping that we can raise some money for their herd and also help these two guys find a new forever home. Old Friends is very special to me. I love the whole idea of the horses get a forever home. They have their own paddocks that they know every inch of and that people can come and visit them every week or every day if they even want to um, become a part of the horse's life with all the ex without all the expenses. The mission of Old Friends is to provide a dignified retirement and to increase awareness for the horse's needs when their racing days are over. And also here at Cabin Creek, every horse has its own paddock. They get to know every inch of it and they get to enjoy all the visitors and all the volunteers on a daily basis and it just is a, like a family atmosphere, like a family farm where everybody comes to love all the animals. So since we're here, I'll show you around and introduce you to some volunteers. Um, I'm Brown. We're setting up for a little event today. Um, Nance. Stephanie, Johnny, we're doing a little interview. For... Good morning. Well, say hi. I'll say hi. <laughs> Come out out and see us. Here's our barn. One of our volunteers brought this beautiful basket of flowers today. Um, Oops, excuse me. This is our gator. We couldn't our gator. This is what we use to feed the horses every meal. And this was actually purchased through fundraising through Sacatoga Stable and West Point Stables. So we were really grateful to get this, and it means the world to us. And we take really good care of it. We're, the best part is the windshield in the winter. <laughs> we've been pelted for about, well, we've had it for about four years. But before that, we just had a, a four-wheeler pulling a little trailer, and it was brutal. <laughs> so, all our horses live outside year-round. They only come in if they're not feeling well or need some special attention. Um, we find that they're just more happier outside. They kind of made us do it this way. Um, so we, we're still learning from the horses, and we're really blessed to be able to take care of them. Um, we have, like I said, 16 thoroughbreds and one quarter horse. Um, from all levels of racing. We have Will's Way, we have Millionaires here, and we also have Zippy Chippy who raced 100 races with zero wins, but he's very popular. People just love him. He's got two books out that we can't keep on the shelves in the gift shop. Um, he's very interesting, <laughs> and you'll see him when you come visit. Okay, so these are the nice folks who brought the flower. They seem to be running from the camera. <laughs> so this is Nancy. She's a retired nurse. She brought her husband today. Yeah. Her first time. <laughs> so over here we have Will's Way. He's still eating some grain. He's a Travers and Whitney winner. Um, very cool horse. He's 27 years old, but he still gallops around like he's working himself out. Over here we have Leo. His real name was Roaring Lion. 
He's a quirky little guy. He likes to colic if he gets nervous. So he dunks his hay and he just needs his peace and quiet. And he doesn't really like to look at other horses. <laughs> they all have such gigantic personalities. And the longer that they are retired, they seem to relax and let go of some of the baggage and then their personalities just start shining through. Um, we have one horse that, well, it's hard to describe. I <laughs> better not go there. <laughs> but they're all fun, and we've matched up some of them, so they have lifetime buddies. Um, others just like to be alone, and we just try to figure them out, figure out what they would like best, and do whatever we can to keep them happy. I just hope that people realize the just how majestic the horses are and how throughout history they have just done whatever people have asked of them. They go to war, they pull tractors, or pull wagons, they just will do anything and race. They'll race their hearts out. They'll race until they drop if we ask them to. And it's just they deserve the respect to realize when they're tired and when they need to be done and just to retire and to, to relax. and be loved and cared for for the end of their days. I would love for everyone to go to our website and learn more about our farm. We could always use donations. The feed bills just keep coming and the horses just keep eating. Um, there's a lot of other expenses that go along with horses and the industry supports a lot but um, it's never enough and we just need, there's so many rescues out there that need help. So I would just ask that you find somebody local and help support them and help, help them work with the horses. You can visit us at our website of oldfriendsatcabincreek.com or you can just come on by for a visit. We'll be open all winter on Saturdays, 12 to 3. The show you are watching has been produced by SACC.TV. SAC TV is a not-for-profit organization that provides educational programming seeking to enrich communities by producing shows on culture, science, health, the arts, and more. If you enjoy what you've seen, visit us on YouTube and Facebook. Subscribe, like, share, and pass the word around. For more information and to see the latest shows, visit www.sac.tv or contact us as director at sac.tv or by phone at 518-831-9145. For now, back to our program, and stay tuned for more great shows. We started this farm, we definitely knew how to care for horses, but we had no clue about a nonprofit and waiting for volunteers to come. So I went two and a half years without a day off, and then they started to come. And now we probably the have the same use. This is a muck rake. So uh, this is the standard that we use all year long, every day, and uh, extremely important. Goes through the sand nicely, picks up what we need. I love these guys. I don't know. 
I'm the original volunteer. See what happened to horses after they retired from horse racing. I love volunteering for old friends because I love the horses and I, you know, I enjoy the sport and I feel like anybody who's involved with the sport needs to give back. And I, think, I think they need a dignified retirement. It doesn't seem to be much in place formally for horses to be retired at this point by the racing industry, though some people are making some inroads. I really think we need to work with the uh, New York State Legislature to get some legislation in place. To I would like to be able to take care of them in their retirement. They did a lot of, uh, they worked really hard in their racing careers and they really deserve this nice break and this What we need. This of course is to rake up hay that the guys have not eaten. And we rake that up every day, all the old hay from the previous meal and get that out and get it all cleaned up. Now, now we probably have 35 volunteers that help in all different different areas, the mucking, the fundraising, the PR, um, the feeding. So as the years went on and they just kept coming back, but every now and then I would wonder why they keep coming. It was so I had to volunteer here because otherwise my my wife would kill me if I didn't help out and I got to keep volunteer here with my daughter Reagan to spend quality time with her. You see, when I look into their eyes, I see different than when I used to see them on the track. And I know what they're feeling. And, uh, and, and I love that because then I can give back to them how I feel in my heart. So to be able to give back to them, they give so much in return. They just crack open my heart and bring me so much joy. So I volunteer here because it's an awesome organization that helps horses. I found my place, I guess, you know. I always liked horses and I never had an opportunity to have my own. So it's kind of nice to have a relationship with a horse. <laughs> I don't know which is greater, the people or the horses. Um, I just wanted a job with animals and... Now, winter is another matter. In the winter time, when it's frozen out here, and all you really see are stuff on the top, you have to have a shovel. And it is a, a hard job. Later in the winter, it's a lot of cracking just to get up all the stuff you need to get up because we want it to be as clean as we can get it. And we do our best. Here at Old Friends as a volunteer, I've been here for about five years. Uh, six days a week, I take care of Will's way. He's the, he's a gentleman over here, he's a stallion. And Will is uh, 27 years old. He won the Travers in 1996 and the Whitney in 1997. He's the oldest living Travers winner uh, at this moment in time. He's doing quite well for the age of 27 and he's always been a little rowdy with people, but he seems to enjoy being around a few of us and we enjoy taking care of him. I got started at Old Friends because I was a track fan. I lived in Boston, but I was coming over here every summer to see some of the races at Saratoga. So I read about Old Friends and I retired. I moved over here. And then I came up to see the horses one day in October. And I came back about two weeks later and about a week after that. So after I kept coming back so often, they knew they had a live one and asked me if I wanted to volunteer and help clean up after the horses and take care of them. So I started January, no, December 2015. And so that's five years now almost that I've been here. Joanne Pepper is like a, a mother to all of us here. She makes sure that we uh, work well with the horses, that we're not in over our head with anybody. She lets us learn as we go along. And she is just a, a, a virtual saint for taking care of these horses the way she does. She's been at this for 
a little over 10 years here now, and I can't imagine anyone else running running this place. He's really a rock star as a racehorse. He, I mean, win the Travers and, and the Whitney, that's a rarity. Uh, I'm sure someone else has done it, but not too many of them. And when people come up here to, to visit and to see all these horses, they see them in such a calm setting, they may totally forget that they all came off the track, a lot of them in big races. These guys were warriors. They raced in front of thousands of people, so it's it's really an honor just to be able to be here and hang out with them and take care of them. Okay. You'd be nice to me. You'd be nice to me today. Do not eat my mask. Do not eat my mask. This is Mr. Cowboy. He's 11. He was born here. When he was born, he wasn't breathing. And Joanne, our boss, brought him back to life. Artificial respiration. Then he also was too weak to stand up, so he couldn't feed properly, so they had to bottle feed him. And he ended up winning an allowance race at Saratoga with Joanne and Mark Pepper, of course, the owners, plus a, another small group of people. And as I understand, it was a pretty big day at Saratoga because everybody knew this boy was a local horse. And he's here now. And he's, he, he's really a good guy. He, re, he really is a good guy. And he's a big one. He's just fun for us to be around. Don't worry. And I'm a volunteer here, here at Old Friends. And this is my friend. I was there when he won his race at Saratoga. And it brought the whole place down. And he wasn't supposed to walk or live. So that's why he's our miracle horse. I wanted to learn how to be around horses. I, I never liked racing, but then I started to realize how much people really do care about their horses, and then I got involved. And this was the best place to come. Right? Right, cowboy? <laughs> it is very relaxing. It's, sometimes it's very cold in the winter, but you don't realize it because you're just so happy and so relaxed to be away from the humdrum of life and being up here with these magnificent athletes. It's just, it's just mind blowing. <laughs> we redid the Mr. Ed song for Mr. Cowboy. Hi, I'm Heidi Voigt, and I volunteer here at Old Friends at Cabin Creek. And as you can see, this place is beautiful. It's a wonderful place where these horses are taken care of with dignity and, and love and respect. And I'm so ever grateful to be here, to, to have this opportunity to get to know these horses. I'm blessed, and uh, let me introduce you here. To the right, right here. This is Commentator. This is our guy, Commentator. He was at one time the fastest horse in the country. And then we have, to my left, we have Cosmonaut. Cos, come here, boy. He's got Mary's over here with Cos. too. Here, Cos. And they're great horses. We love them. And Thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to say my story. I come on, on Mondays with commentator and Fridays I'm usually down down the road with with, with Slews Brew and this hard land, alias Frankie. So I do this twice a week, but I would love to come as often as I can because this is just it's it's just so good for your soul and your spirit to be around these these wonderful animals. Well, I feel that horses are they yeah, they can feel your hearts and I they're they're when people come in and when we're going through rough times in our lives and and we're having a heartbreak or whatever in our lives, we come to the horses and the horses bring healing to our souls, to our spirits because they're very spiritual beings. When my dog died recently, my 15-year-old pit bull, Thor, um, Joanne gave me the opportunity to come here by myself and just walk through and spend a little bit of time with each horse and it really helped me 
to heal my broken heart, so I appreciate it. Mary, another volunteer here. So Take it away, Mary. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mary. I've been a volunteer here for eight years now. Um, I started here when I was 13, and I'm about to turn 22, so I really grew up with these horses, and they taught me everything I know about animals, really, in general, and it's just a blessing to be here with them. We've just been... I, I can't believe sometimes I think back to it, and I think about it being eight years, and I'm like, <laughs> some of these horses here are actually older than me, and, you know, it's uh, they're just amazing animals. They all have a soul. They all have a personality. Yeah. Um, whether they're like Cosmona and they won a million dollars, or if they're like Zippy and raced a hundred times and never won, uh, they're all entitled to the same retirement, we feel. Uh, yeah. The same love and care, and they're all the same to us in that aspect, for sure. Yeah, I hope that every year we get uh, a lot of visitors that will come and learn about how important it is for these horses to have a proper retirement. Um, they can live until they're at least 30, sometimes longer if they're lucky, and it's important to know that racing is such a short part of their life that they need that lifelong care. They need to be guaranteed that. Um, they do so much for us, and it's the least we can do for them is to just give them basic care. Um, they, learn, they earn millions of dollars, some of them, and it's what they deserve. And even if they don't win that much, they deserve the same thing. So we have uh, volunteers and supporters. Um, a lot of times they're both, um, uh, whether it be a uh, volunteer that comes and does tours or a volunteer that um, comes and cleans and takes care of the horses. Some of us do both. Um, it's really important that we have good supporters and, and visitors and tours um, and a good staff of volunteers. Um, none of us get paid to do any of what we do. Um, we're happy to be here to give tours and to fundraise and to bring awareness to this cause. Uh, it's really, really important that people come out and learn. Uh, it's Like I said, learning is key. Uh, spreading the word is really a big key of how to get the help we need for these horses, for sure. Yeah, scale back to uh, one day a week. We're open Saturdays from 12 to 3. Normally, in a non-coronavirus year, we would be open five days a week in the summertime uh, during the track season. Um, and then, we, like I said, we scale back to one day a week outside of track season. So uh, it's open house style. You can come anytime in our hours. Right now it's 9 to 1 on Fridays and Saturdays. And then once the track closes for the year, we'll go back to Saturdays from 12 to 3. If you're listening anywhere out there, you should know that all of these horses deserve the same exact care in their retirement. They're all worthy of your love and support. And I just think that that needs to be a message to spread more, not just uh, here through us, but in the entire thoroughbred industry. It should be something that's <laughs> well known. Is that these guys? Look at him, look at him. He's just such a love. Uh huh. He dropped his carrot. <laughs> Pulled it off, dropped it on the ground, and looked at you. Hit that one's attention, like yeah. you said. Like he just any kind of attention is good attention. <laughs> Yeah, so so Old Friends and uh, Third River Retirement Foundation. Um, old Friends is, is local. It's it's a it's a satellite of Old Friends in, in Kentucky, which has a lot. These are uh, they have stallions here. They have um, you know pretty well known horses uh, here at here at Saratoga. At old Friends, you have Will's Way, who won the uh, Travers and the Whitney. You have Commentator, who won the Whitney uh, twice. You have Zippy Chippy, who lost lost a hundred races. <laughs> So, but they have these, these are, the horses of the Third Brother Time Foundation are usually ones that are, are, are broken down. They're, 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 they're the great refuge, the wretched refuge. They're ones that, that maybe have been raced beyond their time. Um, maybe they got injured. Um, but we found, we, but you know, we realize when these horses are racing, you know, they're, they're done racing at four or five years old, you know, even, even three. So, but they can live to be like 30. So they have a lot of lot calling for them. They just can't be race horses anymore. So if you can retrain them, you know, to be pleasure the horses, best therapy the horses, um, it all works out, you know, but it needs, it needs the care of the people that we get, like the you know, horse? people that make donations no and stuff too, and that's, that's what keeps things what going. What about the brown horse? The people understand that these horses here. that race deserve a good act, like a, a good life thing. after racing, <laughs> a decent, the, the old friends at Cabin Creek and the Third Brother Time Foundation are two different organizations with the same cause, and, that, and that's to, to, to give decent homes to former race horses. <laughs> And old friends at Cabin Creek is on this Facebook, name is Joey. and also they have their website. Um, the TRF is also on Facebook. You can get the more information on the, the TRF Inc. org. 
trfinc.org, and that'll give you all the mission you want about the, the uh, and you can, again, you can donate, you know, anything, all donations are welcome, the TRF, you can, we have, we have adoption, sponsorship, and uh, fostering programs that you can, you know, you know, if you want to sponsor a horse, we've got a whole list of horses here, they're up, they're up for sponsorship, you know. Um, you know, just to say, you know, like, and, you know, we'll give you updates on, you know, give a photo of them and how they're doing, something about them, you know, and, and, it's, and it's, you know, for the price of a cup of coffee or whatever, you know, at Starbucks or someplace, you know, uh, you know, for a week like that, you can sponsor a horse for a year. Um, but all the information we have, it's, it's all on the, it's on the website, and you know, uh, so the trfinc.org. And they'll give you all information for that unit. Well, now that you've seen some of our horses, we hope that you'll come visit very soon. We're open year round. See you soon. Well, welcome back. I'm still trying to bake the muffins. But finally, finally, I think we're finished. I hope you enjoyed our show today. If you would like to make an order or donate muffins to charity, then please go to the website listed below. With every muffin order, we donate muffins to the charity of your choice. <laughs> I call it giving your dough to charity. <laughs> I also encourage you to donate directly to the featured charity today by going directly to our website and getting their information. Thank you very much for watching and keep on dancing through life by giving to others through love. Let me finish baking these muffins and see you next time.